So currently we're working on a neurodegenerative disease called ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Uh, the other name for it is motor neuron disease and it's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. We don't know why motor neurons are so sensitive in ALS and in other types of neurodegeneration it's a different type of neuron where the degeneration starts but later on it spreads throughout the brain. And it seems that this spread is at least in some part caused by or carried by these small vesicles called exosomes which we're very interested in studying. Exosomes seem to be involved in, in cell communication in the brain, in the healthy brain and also in the diseased brain. What we'd really like to know is what changes uh, between exosomes in the healthy brain and the, the diseased brain. Before we used Gibco exosome depleted FBS, we were using homemade exosome depleted serum that we uh, generated through ultracentrifugation. And typically what we would do would be to grow the cells to a high density or a large amount with 10% fetal serum as a supplement. And then we'd wash them and switch them into exosome free uh, serum in order to harvest exosomes that are not then contaminated with cow exosomes from the serum. We make that serum ourselves by centrifugation. So we would need to spin serum for about 18 hours at 100,000 G in an ultra centrifuge in order to deplete the exosomes that are already in that serum and so they don't interfere with our experiments. This takes a lot of time. Uh, you can only fit a certain amount of serum in one rotor, so about 180 mils, and therefore we need to spin probably two or three times to get through a whole bottle of 500 mils of serum, which we would then store for future experiments. The problem is that that centrifuge serum is not as good for cell growth as it was with the exosomes in. Exosomes carry a lot of good things. So when we tested Gibco exosome depleted FBS, we found that we could grow the cells actually in a much lower percent serum than we could in the exosome depleted FBS that we generated by ultracentrifugation. And that's because you know, a lot of the nutrients, the good things, are, are maintained in this serum, which we would normally remove. So we found that actually instead of using 10% serum to culture, we could use 2.5% serum or less and get very good growth of the cells. Uh, so we could still perform our experiments, but using exosome depleted FBS for the whole culture time. Um, this has several advantages. Um, it's convenient. Um, we have very good batch tested serum, so we don't get batch to batch variation that we see with our own serum. And we also are able to grow them in a much lower volume of serum, so actually we save serum over, over a period of an experiment. And the other advantage is that growing them in uh, exosome depleted FBS the whole time, we don't have this contamination problem from cow exosomes that we would have if we grew them in normal exosome containing serum for a period before we did the harvest. So the benefits of using uh, Gibco exosome depleted FBS is really that you get extremely good growth of cells with a much lower concentration of serum that you would normally need to use if you prepare the serum yourself by centrifugation.